converse, inverse, and contrapositive. So, itong tatlong klase ng statements or types of statements ay related sa conditional statement. Now, yung conditional statement, if you remember, sinisimbolize to siya ng ganitong symbolic form, which is P, arrow, and then Q. Ang conditional statement ay kadalasan nakikita natin na may if and then may then. If then statement ang tawag sa kanya. So, itong converse, inverse, at saka contrapositive, related siya sa conditional statement kasi yung conditional statement mismo, yung pagbabasehan natin para makuha natin yung converse, at saka inverse, at saka contrapositive ng mismong statement. Now, ano nga ba yung converse? So, yung converse ay from P then Q, or if P then Q, to Q then P. So, meaning, itong converse statement, babalik ta rin mo lang. Diba? Sa conditional statement, mauuna yung P na statement o yung first statement. And then, after nun, yung Q statement. Pero sa converse naman, mauuna ang Q and then, nasa second na yung P. So, magiging if Q, then P. Ang inverse statement naman ay from P, then Q, or if P, then Q, to not P, then not Q. So, simple lang ang inverse statement. Based lang siya sa conditional statement na if P, then Q. Ang kaibahan lang, ang inverse statement ay negation ng conditional statement. Nilagay ko na dito, negation of if P, then Q. So, magiging not P, then not Q. So, ganun lang yung inverse statement. Now, para naman sa contrapositive statement, from if P, then Q, to not Q, then not P. So, ang contrapositive ay negation ng converse statement. So, nilagay ko dito na negation of converse. Ang symbolic form ng converse statement ay if Q, then P. And then, ang contrapositive naman ay not Q, then not P. So, negation lang ng converse statement ang contrapositive, which is not Q, then not P. So, ganun lang yung kaibahan ng converse, inverse, at saka contrapositive statement. So, let's try to have an example about converse and inverse and contrapositive. So, para malaman natin kung paano nagkakaiba-iba ang isang conditional statement kapag, kapag hinahanap natin ang converse, inverse, at saka yung contrapositive statement niya. So, meron tayong instruction dito na give the converse, inverse, and contrapositive of the following implication. So, number one. If pi is an irrational number, then it is a number that goes on forever. So, ang number one statement natin ay conditional statement. Dahil meron tayong if at saka then na word. Which is, if P, then Q. Kapag in symbolic form natin siya, i-represent. So, ano daw yung converse ng number one statement? Now, remember, sinabi ko kanina, yung converse ay magiging if Q, then P. So, meaning, mauuna yung second statement and then, tsaka na yung first statement. So, diba, dito sa number 1, yung second statement natin ay, it is a number that goes on forever. So, ito yung Q. Now, yung pi is an irrational number, this one, ito yung P. So, since na-determine na natin yung P at tsaka Q, so, madali na lang natin malalaman kung ano yung converse statement niya. So, diba, sa converse, Q muna and then P. Pero isulat mo yung word na if. If. And then yung second statement, which is it is a number that goes on forever. However, dito sa converse statement, instead na it lang yung isulat natin if it is a number, itong it, papalitan natin to siya ng pi. Kasi yung pi yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Ito yung subject natin, itong pi. So, if pi is a number So, yung first statement natin which is yung Q statement magiging if pi is a number that goes on forever so instead na 
it is a number ang lalagay natin. Nilagay natin na 5 kasi para mauna naman yung subject sa ating sentence. So, if 5 is a number that goes on forever, lagyan nyo ng comma. Comma and then then. Yung next statement natin, diba? If P, if Q, then P. So, yung P, after ng then, yung P statement. So, kanina sa Q statement, pinalitan natin yung it into pi. Na ngayon, yung pi magiging it na ngayon. Para hindi naman magiging redundant yung statement natin. So, if pi is a number that goes on forever, then it is an irrational number. So, ito ngayon yung converse statement ng conditional given statement sa atin sa number 1. So, if pi is a number that goes on forever, comma, then it is an irrational number. So, before yung then na word, lagyan nyo ng comma. Before yung second statement. So, di ba ito yung q and then ito naman yung p statement. So, naging if, p, uh, if q, then p na siya. Na para naman sa inverse, di ba yung inverse, sinabi ko kanina, ang inverse ay negation ng conditional statement. Meaning, itong number one statement magiging not P, then not Q. Or if P, if not, or if not P, then not Q. Diba? Ito yung P, ito yung Q statement. So, let's write the word if first. If, if pi is an irrational number, so pag, so pag gagawin mo to siyang negation of P, magiging If pi is not an irrational number, so if pi is not an irrational number, comma, then then, yung second statement naman or yung Q statement ay it is a number that goes on forever. So yung negation niya. It is not a number that goes on forever. So, ito ngayon yung inverse statement ng number 1. If pi is not an irrational number, comma, then it is not a number that goes on forever. Na para naman sa contrapositive ng number 1 statement, di ba yung contrapositive ay negation ng converse. So kung ano yung ginawa mong statement sa converse, kukunin mo lang yung negation ng statement na yun and then yun na yung contrapositive statement na lalabas. So di ba yung converse natin ay if pi is a number that goes on forever, comma, then it is an irrational number. Now, yung negation niya, if pi is not a number that goes on forever, then it is not an irrational number. So, if pi Ito ngayon yung contrapositive ng statement number 1. If pi is not a number that goes on forever, then it is not an irrational number. So, ito yung converse, inverse, at saka contrapositive ng given number 1 statement. Okay, another example, we have a number 2 statement or the conditional statement. If x is the height of a box, then it is a positive number. Okay, yung P statement natin ay ang x is the height of a box. Ito yung P. Now, yung Q naman ay it is a positive number. Ito yung Q. Now, yung converse ay mauuna yung Q and then after nun ang P. So, isulat muna natin yung word na if. So, if Q meaning it is a positive number. So, same sa number 1 kanina. Diba? Instead na 
it yung susulat natin if it is a positive number, itong it, papalitan natin to siya ng x. Ito kasi, yung x kasi yung subject dito sa statement natin or yung pinag-uusapan dito. So, if x is a positive number, If x is a positive number, so instead na it yung isusulat natin, x muna. Para at least hindi naman magulo yung statement natin. Unay muna natin kung ano yung pinag-uusapan, which is ang x. If x is a positive number, kama, then p. Yung p statement natin ay x is the height of a box. Now, instead na isusulat mo ulit yung x, it na lang, papalitan mo na lang siya ng it para hindi maging redundant yung statement natin or yung sentence. Then, it is the height of a box. So, ito ngayon yung converse statement ng number 2 conditional statement. If x is a positive number, kama, then, it is the height of a box. And then, period. Now, next naman, yung inverse. Now, yung inverse ay negation ng conditional statement. So, meaning, not P. Uh, if not P, then not Q. So, diba? Sulat muna natin yung word na if. So, diba magiging negation of P itong statement natin? Meaning, magiging if X is not the height, of a box if x is not the height so if x is not the height of a box comma then not q no, yung Q natin ay it is a positive number. So, kapag kukunin natin yung negation niya, magiging it is not a positive number. So, then, it is not a positive number. So, ito yung inverse statement ng number 2. If x is not the height of a box, comma, then it is not a positive number. Okay, para naman sa contrapositive ng number 2, di ba yung contrapositive ay negation ng converse statement. So, kung ano yung converse statement natin dito, kung ano yung nagawa natin dito, kukunin lang natin yung negation niya. So, di ba yung converse statement natin ay... If x is a positive number, so magiging if x is not a positive number, then lalagyan natin ng comma, then it is the height of a box. So yung negation nito ay magiging it is not the height of a box. So, contrapositive, if x is not a positive number, comma, then it is not the height of a box, period. So, ito na yung converse, inverse, at saka contrapositive statement na given number 2 conditional statement. So, para sa ating last sample statement, we have, if i is a complex number, then it is not a real number. I-identify muna natin kung ano yung P at saka yung Q statement. Now, dito sa number 3 statement, ang P natin ay I is a complex number. So, ito yung P. And then, yung Q naman ay it is not a real number. Ito yung Q. Now, again, sa converse, mauuna ang Q and then ang P. So, meaning, ang sulat natin dito, if, so, same sa number 1 and 2, instead na it is not a real number, Ang sulat natin dito ay if i is not a real number. So, papalitan natin itong it into i kasi ito yung subject natin. Ito yung mauuna. So, if i 
is not a real number. Kama, then, yung then na after ng then ay yung P statement, which is I is a complex number. So, instead ulit nag I yung gagamitin natin dito, gagawin na lang natin siyang it para hindi maging redundant yung word mismo dito sa ating statement. So, then it is a complex number. So, ito yung converse statement ng number 3, conditional statement. If I is not a real number, kama, then it is a complex number. So, para naman sa inverse statement, di ba yung inverse statement again, ay negation ng conditional statement. Kung ano yung statement dito na given, kukunin mo lang yung negation niya. So, negation ng, not, ng P at saka Q. So, not P and then not Q. Sulat muna natin yung if na word. Yung P natin ay I is a complex number. Na yung negation niya ay magiging I is not a complex number. Lalagyan mo lang ng word na not para maging negation of P. So, if I is not a complex number, kama, then it is not a real number. Now, dito sa ating Q statement, ang Q natin ay it is not a real number. Yan yung Q. Now, para maging negation or not Q yan siya, tatanggalin mo lang yung word na not. Magiging it is a real number. So, ganun lang yun. Parang opposite lang. Kung walang not yung given statement, lalagyan mo ng not sa inverse. Now, kapag may not naman, tatanggalin mo yung not para maging negation. Para maging inverse siya, inverse statement. So, itong not, tatanggalin mo na to pagdating sa inverse. So, magiging, then, it is a real number. So, ang inverse statement ng number 3, ng number 3 conditional statement, if i is not a complex number, kama, then it is a real number. So, next naman, sa contrapositive tayo. Diba? Yung contrapositive ay negation ng converse statement. So, yung basis natin ngayon ay ang converse. Kung ano yung sagot natin dito sa converse statement, kukunin lang natin yung negation niya at ilalagay natin dito, yun na yung contrapositive. Okay, di ba yung first statement natin ay if i is not a real number. Now, yung negation nito ng if i is not a real number, magiging if i is a real number. Tatanggalin mo lang yung not. Wala na ito. Makuha na itong not. So, magiging, if I is a real number, kama, then, it is not a complex number. So, yung contrapositive statement ng number 3 ay, if I is a real number, kama, then, it is not a complex number. Now, this is the answer for number 3. The converse, the inverse, at saka yung contrapositive statement ng given conditional statement. So, that's all for our converse, inverse, and contrapositive tutorial. I hope you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching!